so first we have the Trader Joe's Just the Clusters Chocolate Almond Granola Cereal. We have flourless Ezekiel bread. And then we also have the cinnamon raisin kind. We have some spicy hummus dip. And also the Trader Joe's tabula style hummus. Then we have the $3.99 wine from Trader Joe's, the Pinot Grigio, some organic gala apples. Oh, this is neat. We have organic extra virgin Spanish olive oil. That's cool. Um, sunflower seeds. We have Trader Joe's almond windmill cookies. Never tried these, but yeah, we'll see how they taste. Minced garlic. And then the star of the show, the Chili Onion Crunch. I'm so excited that they had these because the last time I went, they were sold out. We have Trader Joe's Peanut Butter Protein Granola. I believe like my mom and little brother put this in their yogurt. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Butternut Squash Soup from Trader Joe's. We have vegetable fried rice from Trader Joe's. I love this rice. We have red pepper spread with eggplant and garlic. Sounds delicious. We have Trader Joe's rolled oats for overnight oats. Yeah. Two bags of raw whole cashews. Trader Joe's brown basmati rice. Then we have some Trader Ming's <laughs> Kung Pao Tempura Cauliflower. All right. We have hash browns, vegan tikka masala with cumin rice. We have the masala curry, curry with brown rice, and this is vegan as well. And then we have the vegetable penang curry with jasmine rice, vegan as well. And then the last two items are vegan ice cream. We have the chocolate non-dairy frozen dessert made with coconut milk. And then Trader Joe's soy creamy vanilla. And that is it. The total was $101.24. Alright, so if you guys do not know or are new to my channel, I was on the Daniel Fast and I just finished the Daniel Fast about almost a week ago. So it'll be a week and three days. It'll be one week that I finished the Daniel Fast in three days. So um, throughout the fast, of course, you're trying to build your spiritual connection with God. And I believe I did that. But it's also good because um, you're cleaning out your body because all you're eating is fruits, vegetables, drinking water so you're just eating the best possible food for your body and at the end of it i was craving nothing that i craved three weeks prior so that's chick-fil-a that's chicken that's any type of meat um anything like i'm telling you guys peanut m ms which are my favorite i wasn't craving that at all anymore i wasn't craving anything except for fruits and vegetables so, of course, after the fast, I went all out and I ate a bunch of crap. Not consistently, but enough to where for the last three or four days, my stomach has, I feel like it's been eating me from the inside out. And it's all because of what I put back into my diet. So, before I started the fast, my mom and I, we were already eating... <laughs> Okay, one second. Now, before I started the fast, my mom and I, we were already eating kind of in a vegan lifestyle. So it would I would say about two to three times a week, we would eat vegan dinners. So our body was kind of equipped to kind of handle what the Daniel fast entailed. But after feeling so horrible for the last few days, I have decided to be vegan 
and it wasn't really a hard decision to make it's just the fact that the way my body felt i felt so horrible knowing that all it took was a couple days of not so healthy foods so i decided to be vegan but there are certain parameters i guess you can say like on the weekends not every weekend but if i am feeling chick-fil-a i'm gonna have chick-fil-a um and i know this doesn't sound like oh you just said you're vegan now you're saying i'll have chick-fil-a whenever i want there are certain parameters like i say i'm not going to limit myself to eating the food that i love i love chick-fil-a but i'm not craving it and i haven't had it since the daniel fast ended but if i am feeling chick-fil-a I'm gonna get Chick-fil-A. That might be once a month, that might be once every two months, I don't know. I'm not going to just eat it whenever I feel like I am craving it, but you know, I'm going to kind of limit it to probably like once a month or once a month and a half, whatever. But like peanut M&Ms before the fast, I used to eat a share size bag like three times a week gotta go so i'm gonna limit my peanut m&ms to like once every two weeks like i said i'm not craving peanut m&ms thankfully so most of the time i would say 95 percent of the time i will be vegan and that other five percent would just be my pleasure foods like if i want hot i don't think i want hot wings but if i do i feel like i should have the freedom to eat hot wings because anything in moderation is fine um and I think that's okay. Like I'm not trying to not eat the things that I love because that, that's kind of torture in my opinion, but I think it's okay to have a 90% healthy lifestyle and that is what I'm gonna do. So the, what is it called? <laughs> the grocery haul from Trader Joe's that you just saw, it was basically all vegan stuff like the, um, microwave meals like the indian microwave meals like the the masala and all that they're all vegan um and that is what i wanted i wanted something that was flavorful and tasty that i could eat in five minutes and it be healthy i know microwave meals have a lot of sodium but it's still vegan so i am doing my best because god knows that i cannot cook a meal every day so meal prepping will probably have to be in my future but for now I have enough vegan meals stored up in Monaghan so I can just like cook them in 10 minutes or 15 minutes and I'll be fine. But for those days when um, like my mom comes home from work and she doesn't feel like cooking, I have something I could eat and I'm sure she has something she could eat because she purchased a lot, of, um, a lot of things as well. But uh, I'm gonna go to the kitchen really quick. I'm in my bathroom because lighting is good here and it's about to be dark but i'm just gonna um show you guys what i purchased again just to kind of give you a feel of what we'll be making with those items so um i'll see you right now in a second <laughs> all right so sorry if the lighting's all wonky but like i mentioned it's getting dark so for example of course these are the meals that i purchased microwave meals that i purchased they're all vegan um and then i have this tempura cauliflower so it's kind of like the, um, it looks like orange chicken, but it's, I guess it's like Kung Pao chicken, but it's cauliflower. So I thought it, this would be good with some vegetable fried rice, or even if I want to eat this with cauliflower rice, whatever. And of course I have my vegan ice cream, but the rolled oats, like I mentioned, are for overnight oats. My mom and I have never made them, but we're going to try. And then like, you know, if... Like I said, if I'm hungry and I just need something quick to eat, butternut squash soup. I love butternut squash. And of course, brown rice. But one thing I did want to mention, what my mom and I have realized over the Daniel Fast is that you need some good sauces with these vegan meals. So some of the sauces, we, some of the sauces that we have made throughout the Daniel Fast the main ingredient is raw whole cashews. So we purchased these with the raw whole cashews with any vegan sauce, well, with mostly vegan sauce, these are basically the foundation of the sauce. So while we were on the Daniel Fast, we made a cashew cream cheese sauce, but of course there was no cheese. So all it contained was raw whole cashews blended up very finely, water and salt. 
that's it but what we did is we added some southwest chipotle seasoning and it changed our entire lives so i would highly recommend you add this seasoning to the cashew cream sauce and then another sauce you can make with raw whole cashews is vegan sour cream so all you need is raw whole cashews water salt lime and apple cider vinegar apple cider vinegar and that is it so we're gonna try that next we didn't try that over the daniel fast but that is one that we're gonna try soon and if you want a cheesy flavor to your sauce add some nutritional yeast we purchased this from big lots but they also have it at trader joe's we did see so yeah i think that are i think those are the only sauces that we have looked up so far but just look up on google like vegan sauces with cashews i don't know but i'm sure you'll find a lot of options all right so i'm back in my bathroom guys because like i said this is the only way i can get some good lighting at this time of day um but i really hope you guys enjoyed the haul and i hope you guys enjoyed me talking to you guys for a little bit um giving you guys some insight into how the last three weeks have been and also some vegan sauce ideas. I don't know, but let me know if you would like to see some more of my journey with vegan lifestyle and some recipes that my mom and I um, choose to make. Leave that down in the comments and I will make sure to get those videos out for you guys. But thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!